Hello, it's Mr. Omari here to bring you the last one or two archetypes depending on how you look at it. So let's have a look at some examples and see if you can work out what these people have in common. Bart Simpson, pointy head, yellow skin. Mystique from X-Men, blue skin, not particularly pointy head. And the Joker from Batman, also funny skin. So what in fact these people have in common is not that they have weird skin, although that is actually part of it, although a very small part of it. It is that they represent the trickster or the deceiver. Now the difference is that the trickster is kind of just having fun, more like Bart Simpson, and the deceiver has this kind of more evil edge to them. You know, they're both having a bit of fun by tricking you, but also they're out to destroy things. So the trickster is the more innocent form. So let's have a quick look quick look at what they're like. First of all, they are definitely mischievous. If You know, they get up to mischief. If you look particularly at the old Batman TV show, the Joker was very much, you know, a Joker. He was somebody having fun, you know, and part of it was just he had fun messing with people's heads. Um, in the later um, creations, he got to be a bit more evil, and so he's probably more deceiver than trickster there. Um, we see Mystique here from the X-Men. The trickster is underhanded. So rather than actually come straight out and fight you, they'll pretend to be something else. They'll play a joke on you. They'll set a trap for you. So they're not like a destroyer who's just out there saying, you know, I'm this big target of evil. The trickster will try and, um, and be underhanded and trick you into something. Sometimes they are the double agent, like Verbal here in um, The Usual Suspects, which if you haven't seen, it's a fantastic film. Um, so sometimes your trickster is playing off both sides against each other. So the trickster and the deceiver, you can count it as one archetype or two. I think they're very, very similar. Trickster's more innocent. Uh, the deceiver, as Verbal is here, the double agent, is more malicious. And that's actually the end of, um, of my introduction to the archetype. So if you've you should go back and watch all 10 of these videos and you'll get a good sense of the pieces we're playing with.